Hi guys, it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby and I'm so glad you're here today. We have a brand new release and a YouTube hop for you today, so stick around. We have new designs for our box of the month, our paper pad club, and our stamp of the month. So head on over to the shop to see what's new. I'm going to share in this video the box of the month and I'll do a peek at the end of our paper pad club. To follow all the videos in this hop, click the hashtag N2S Summertime Coffee. Don't forget to hop to each person on the hop, leave a comment, and then come back to my video and click on my rafflecopter link to enter into the giveaway. One winner is going to win a $25 gift certificate to the shop. I'll announce that on my community tab on July 8th. So when purchasing our subscriptions, there's two choices. You can purchase as a one-time purchase or you can subscribe. And when you subscribe, you'll see a drop-down menu, choose monthly, and that will get your item shipped to you every 30 days. So I want to start with the box of the month. Now I just did a five day sneak peek um, countdown until release day. So you can go back to the videos to see um, all the products in detail. Um, but today I'll just show, show them as a grouping. So we have a stencil. We have a Call Me Crafty Owl stencil called Here Comes the Sun. We have two designs so you can flip it over and use the other side. Um, really fun. I use those on my cards today. We have the stamp set called Rise and Shine. It features these really pretty um, cups and a French press, some flowers. There's a couple of coffee beans and two sentiments. We've got coffee with the question mark and then rise and shine. It's coffee time. The second stamp set is called Java Nice Day. There's three cold uh, drinks at the top. We've got uh, two, or actually three really large sentiments and two smaller ones. This one says, I don't rise and shine. I caffeinate and hope for the best. And then we've got rise and grind. And then we've got no talkie before coffee, iced coffee obsessed, and Java nice day. Super cute. Now, if you wanted to turn these into like tea or something like that, um, grab a tea tea sentiment from your stash. Um, we do have a nice bubble tea stamp set that you could use the sentiments for and combine them with these stamp sets um, to create them as like tea, um, turn that one into a shake. So it's always fun to mix and match stamp sets. Then we've got summer coffee um, paper pad. This one you get four of each design. They're 24 double-sided designs. So I'm not going to flip through it. Um, you can go back and check out the other video for more details. I have a lot of cards to share with you guys and a lot of products. Um, this is a hop, so you're going to hop to the next person by clicking on the hashtag N2S Summertime Coffee. That will bring up all the videos in this hop. You can leave a comment on each video, like, subscribe if you wish, and then come back to my Rafflecopter link. It's in the description box to enter into the giveaway. And one winner is going to win a $25 gift certificate to the shop. The giveaway ends on the 7th and I will post the winner on the 8th. We have coordinating ephemeras to each paper pad. So lots of lovely um, images in here. The colors are gorgeous. Same with this one. We've got the gals holding coffee. Really cute. Um, there's some sentiments in here. Just really, really fun images. Um, you'll see them on my cards. You can go back and watch the previous videos or someone else in the hop is probably going to share the contents of the box. So you can also watch there. Um, there is a beautiful shaker mix from Le This Calls for Confetti, uh, created exclusively for Not Too Shabby. And um, look at those gorgeous, gorgeous colors. They match perfectly. 
there's some little um, chocolate like clay pieces and um, there's a little coffee bean in that one and this one is called cup of sunshine and then these are the cards that I created I had so much fun creating them um, this one here is a gift card holder you can put a little gift card to your favorite coffee shop in there and give it as a thank you gift to someone. Um, I do have some of the paper and ephemera for individual sale, so I did have some left over. I only have like a handful of the stamps, so there's not that many stamps. And I do have a handful of the confetti mix. So you'll see all that listed under the not too shabby section. Head on over to the subscription section to grab your box, your stamp of the month, and your paper pad club. Here's another one like that, and I forgot to show you the back. I did decorate the back. So I really love how those came out. This one's really cute. I used a lawn fawn die for the background here. Cut um, strips from different papers from the um, paper pad made a nice cluster with the ephemera. These two are very clean and simple. I did add some faux stitching with a black pen around the panel. panel. And then I created two, two cards using one sheet of paper there by cutting it in half. This one has that big sentiment, iced coffee obsessed popped up my images, added glossy accents on the little ice cubes and the heart, stamped out the two little hearts from that stamp set. This one I did use the, the stencil, so there's a sun ray in the background. I used the cute little flowers on this one, popped them up. Also popped up my sentiment, Rise and Shine, It's Coffee Time, and added some glossy, um, details to the little hearts and the little bubbles on the cup. The background is done with Distress Oxide inks. I added a little stamp on the inside. This last one I did use the other side of the stencil and that large sentiment, I don't rise and shine, I caffeinate and hope for the best. And then I decorated the sun ray with the pretty uh, confettis and then I layered it up with the striped yellow design paper. So love how these turned out. It was super fun. Now I'll share the stamp and die of the month. So we'll have a hop on the 7th. So come back on the 7th. I'll have a card using this stamp set. I'll have two cards and there'll be a nice hop with lots of inspiration on the hop. I did start coloring up my images, so let me share what they look like, all colored up. Um, you can choose just to get the stamp, or you can get the stamp and die. When you do join the stamp and die of the month club, or just the stamp of the month club, you do get an 18% discount. For the sentiments, we have Christmas, I come bearing gifts, have a cool berry Christmas. We've got a little snowflake, a cute little bear with a present, a little bear with a, with a Santa hat on, a little bear with an ice cream cone, and another bear with a Christmas tree. So this is a Christmas in July themed stamp set. And for the die, um, this die here actually does not go with the stamp set. So when they manufactured it, they gave me someone else's die, I guess. And um, so I had to get the correct die that was missing. I stuck it in the packaging. So when you get the die, just toss this one out. So these cute little bears match the same little bears that were in your winter box last year. And when it sold out, so many people wanted these bears. I had to bring them back again. So these are their friends. So have fun mixing and matching the bears. I will have a detailed video later today at 1 p.m. Central Time sharing the paper pad 
the new paper pad designs. So I will be doing a flip through in that video and also making these cards. So I'm just gonna share them quickly. These are um, two very, very beautiful collections. We've got It's Tropical and Mermaid Fantasy. And the cards that I did turned out so stunning. Um, we have a shaker card. This one is done with one of the sheets that is like a scene. Oh, and for the It's Tropical, I do have um, some ephemera that is sold separately um, that you can pick up. I will have it listed in the Not Too Shabby section. It comes in this little bag and um, it matches the paper perfectly. Um, you'll see me going through that um, in the video later today. So here's another one using the Mermaid Collection. So that one says Catch the Wave. I added some really pretty glitter on her tail. And I added glossy accents to the bubbles. I thought that was really cute. And then here's another one using the tropical paper pad and the cutouts. So each of these paper pads comes with cutouts on the inside of the paper pad. Um, these mermaids come inside there. So you can have fun creating cards. Creating your own ephemera. So that one says, be salty, have fun. So the sentiments that I used for all of these cards here are from the stamp set called Be Salty. The stamp set is on sale. It's in the Not Too Shabby section. So if you want to grab it for the sentiments, I did use the big image on the inside of one of my cards. Let's see which one, one it was. I think it was this one. So I just stamped that out on the inside. So it's a great little set for the summertime. You might have it in your stash, but if you don't, it's on sale right now. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the hop. If you enjoyed the video, leave a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will post the winner on my community tab on YouTube, or you could always go back to the Rafflecopter link, click it, and it will show who the winner was. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you real soon. Bye guys.